We had a chance to review the Daction 360 driving recorder from CarMate. It's a dash cam, but it's a 360 degree camera. You not only get a forward facing angle, but you also get footage of inside the car, the side, and rear view. This is me unboxing the product. There's a half dome shaped camera, a mount, cables for connecting to a computer, and a long cable to connect to your car charger. It comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, so everything you need is already there. The first step is to find the right place to install the camera. The manual suggests you place it next to the rear view mirror on either side. The next step is to install the app. It's pretty self-explanatory and simple, but it's a bit finicky and I had to redo the pairing process a couple of times over, which was a bit frustrating. I've been using this product now for about a month now and I've only had to use the app when mounting the camera actually. Step 3 is connecting the power. I like the cigarette lighter charger because it has two USB outlets in case you need to power something else. So here, now the camera is connected to the app. You use the app to monitor what's in the frame and you are now ready to mount this thing. The manual suggested you wait 24 hours before the adhesive completely sticks to the window. But who has that kind of time? The power cable they provide is pretty long and robust. It fit perfectly underneath the panels and ceilings so I didn't have to use the hooks that are also provided. See? Looks really clean. There you go. Installation completed. You can see here the app works fine to monitor your view. This is the actual raw 2880 by 2880 360 degree footage that is from the micro SD card. I have it pointed a little upwards to focus on the front of the car. I should tilt it down a bit more to get the inside or back of the car. Here's what it looks like if I had it mounted more horizontally to capture the front and back equally. It's pretty clear here that the white minivan rams into the car. Like many dash cams, it will record and save any footage from 10 seconds before it senses vibration to the car. The parking monitoring mode activates when the car senses movement to the car. This requires an accessory, the DC200, that powers the car from the car battery when the car is turned off. All in all, I think it's a pretty cool product. It shoots 360 degrees, and if you buy a battery pack, you can take it off and kind of use it like an action camera. It's a little pricey at $399 for a dash cam, but it's a lot more versatile than your average dash cams out there. It's kind of funny and not funny at the same time because I was actually involved in a fender bender this past week. The Daction 360 captured everything and I was really glad I had this thing. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you soon.